Welcome to my Plants People Love SD Storefront YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you how I colored in my Ligum Vitae tree. Let's pronounce that again. It's pronounced Ligum Vitae, otherwise known as the Tree of Life. Now I use the Faber-Castell polychrome color pencils. These are professional pencils. It's the 120 colors. However, for your purposes, feel free to use any color pencils crayons, markers, any creativity, or even collage if you would like. And as you can see, I have a wide variety of greens and reds and blues and yellows um, to choose from for this particular leaf project. Now, what I usually start with is a gray. Um, when I learned botanical drawing, I started with layering colors, and I found that grays that are warm and cool um, give it some zest and some pop because that's how we see things in nature. We don't realize it but there are warm and cool colors that surround us all the time. So to give it a realistic look as you see I'm here and I'm just tracing over the, the stem of the leaf and you'll notice that it has a beautiful flower in the middle. It's kind of a bluish purple kind of flower. It's really beautiful. Now the bark on this particular leaf is a bit gnarly. So um, it's it's got a lot of texture to it so feel free to take some browns in and work it that way. Now I'm going over it with a light green to blend. So you see I'm just working little circles and working it in between the contour lines or the leaf veins. Um, and as you can see, you're, you're learning too about the leaves on this particular tree, the shape, and these are called opposite leaves because they are opposite from each other. Other leaves are alternate and they alternate um, on the leaf stem. So I'm just kind of going over this with a little bit of green and keeping it nice and light so that I can come back in later with some darker colors. Okay, so now you see that I'm filling in this leaf uh, with a light green, and I have now filled in the base color for the flower and the stem and all the leaves. And next what I'm going to do is take this dark green, and now I'm going to go in and give it some shading. That gives it its three-dimensional qualities so that it looks more lifelike. However, if you like solid colors, uh, there's definitely a modern movement for that type of imagery too. But as you can see here, I'm, I'm going in for my style and I'm darkening in these leaf veins to give it some pop. And that's my finished drawing. Hope to see your creation soon.